My name is Yedidiah, also known as Zykeen Johnson of Kingdom Life Assembly here in the city of Indianapolis, Indiana. Well, the community is really made up of two words, things that are common and unity. And when you pull those together, you mix up community. And one of the things that the uh, assembly believes in the scriptures, uh, there's a word that says, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. There's a Hebrew word for unity called akkad. So community is very important among Hebrews. It's very, among, it's very important among people in general coming together for a common good and for a common cause. The thing that we do, uh, we house Kingdom Life Assembly, and within that assembly, uh, we teach Torah. We teach the scriptures that comes from uh, the unadulterated word of the Most High. Uh, one of the other things we do is that we bring women together. We bring men together and, and, and the children, and we follow the structure and the uh, protocols of the Father. Uh, there's, there is a hierarchy. You have Yahuwah, our Elohim, then you have man or the husband, the father, then you have the woman or the mother who is also, uh, uh, you have the children. So when we follow those principles, those guidelines or those outlines of the father, then you have a perfect society when everybody is carrying out their own role. So what we do, we bring people together and make sure and to help guide them to be in their own position or better yet, in their lane. Well, the way I learned about it, uh, I didn't know much about the Hebrew walk. I didn't know about the truth until one day uh, the father began to deal with me and I was blinded to a lot of things based on what we were taught since the uh, transatlantic slave trade. We just didn't know a lot of things. And what I did find out, we were taught a different culture and we were taught a different language. And when I began to realize that the culture and the language that I was, I was living was not of the original, so I began to search out and find out through his word that he gave us a culture, he gave us a language. And so when I began to find that out, and once I found it out, I began to teach it and want everybody else to know that is a Hebrew descent, that we do have a culture, that our culture did not begin from a ship coming to America. We had a culture in Israel. Well, in America, it's, that's one of those a million dollar question, but they got to give themselves to the Father and search out the scripture. The one thing the, the Bible tells us, uh, seeking you shall find. Search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. So as you seek out the word, the word brings revelation. And as you seek out that revelation, the Most High, Yahuwah, which is our Elohim, begins to enlighten you, allow the scales to fall from our eyes, and we begin to see what his word has meant for us. And from there, it just begin to unfold and you begin to mature and you begin to uh, uh, grow uh, not in the wisdom of America or the wisdom of Western construct. You begin to grow and mature in Hebrew. Because that's it's a command. <laughs> he said everything that has breath, praise ye Yah. That's, that is a command, hallelujah, that we make a joyful noise unto him. Uh, uh, we make joyful noise for everything. Joyful noise in football game, basketball game, soccer game. But there's no better joy than to give all praise uh, and admiration to the most high. Well, our role is when we assemble on the Kodesh day. Now, Kodesh uh, means set apart. That's seventh day, uh, not this uh, construct 
uh, Sunday that they have uh, misled people. That is not the true Sabbath. That is not the true Shabbat. We come together and when we come together, we are coming together to praise. We are coming together to worship. We're coming together to study. We're coming together to feast. All of that is included into uh, the Shabbat. That is the opportunity that for uh, like-minded individuals who know who they are and not just knowing who they are, but whose they are can come together and celebrate the wondrous of the Most High. What about well, we share, that's what the scriptures are for. We don't, we can't wake up nobody, it's the Father. The word says one plants, one waters, but if he gives the increase and all we do is give the opportunity to say, hey, check it out, research. What we have lost in our community, unfortunately, the ability to read for ourselves. We've been told everything from the time we got off the ship in the transatlantic slave trade, we were told what to wear, where to go, when to stand, how long to stand. We were told, 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 told. And now the father's allowing us to wake up and said, don't get me. Don't be told you read for yourself. Search out the scriptures for yourself. Read for yourself and revelation will come when you apply yourself to reading. Uh, if you're ever in uh, the area of 8600 East uh, 86th Street, I want to invite you to Kingdom Life Assembly. We're there every Shabbat, which is every seventh day. Seventh day equates to Saturday. Uh, there we open the scriptures. There we read the scriptures. There we apply the scriptures. And you will begin to join this wonderful journey of, of, of understanding who you are and, and, and about our father and about each other. You will understand uh, what the Hebrew words means, not just English um, uh, hybrid language, but the Hebrew language, which is a concrete language. And so again, I want to invite you to come and just experience for yourself. Don't take my word. Come and experience a Kingdom Life uh, Assembly. Or you could go to our website, uh, www.kingdomlifeassembly.com, where you get so much information about not just who you are, but whose you are.